Good morning, Dr. Fulton. Good morning. Aren't you here early? Oh, yes. Mr. Oxley's been complaining about my punctuation, so I'm careful to get here before nine. Mr. Oxley's on the telephone. Won't you sit down? Uh, I'm glad we have a moment. I have something I want to show you. For instance? Isn't it wonderful? I beg your pardon? The new non plastic stockings you invented. Oh, the M41 acetate project. This is an experimental pair. The first pair out of the factory. Aren't you proud? Turned out rather well. I'll say you can't tear them or snag them or anything. Oh, I'm familiar with the no project. No matter how hard you try. You'd be amazed, Doctor. Oh, no, I wouldn't be amazed. I've done a lot of experimenting with this kind of thing. Of course, I'm through with all of that now. Oh, <coughs> uh, Mr. Oxley, Dr. Fulton's here. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You can come in now. Thank you. If you're not too busy. Well, Miss Laura was just showing me her acetates. Yes, sir. No calls, please. Yes, sir. Barnaby, I want to talk to you. Yes, sir. You know, I'm very much interested in this new experiment of yours. As a matter of fact, I'm all steamed up about it. Mm. How's it coming? Well, our problem is to increase the efficiency of the formula. Could be quite a thing, you know. Yes, I stumbled onto something last night that may be of help. Well, that's good news. Uh, oh, I wanted you to see this advertising layout. I want your opinion. We jumped the gun on it a little, but I thought we'd better be ready. Mm. Well, well, why B4? B4, as in before and after, emphasizes the youth angle. Get it? <laughs> uh, what's the vulture doing? That's a phoenix, a mythical bird rising out of the ashes of age. Makes the youth point again. Dignified, yet forceful. And do you mind a comment, Mr. Oxley? Not at all. I'd welcome it. I think it's appalling. From what point of view? Well, it's lurid and inaccurate. It implies that we're going to offer the public some sort of fountain of youth drug. But wouldn't it make people young? Mr. Oxley. We're working with a large number of ingredients, each of which, as we know, accomplishes certain beneficial results. Well? Well, it depends upon which combination of those ingredients we use and the proportions in which we use them. Now, mathematically, we may never find the right combination or the exact proportions to produce the effect you're talking about. It will be a miracle. But you can do it, my boy. <laughs> I told you I didn't want any calls. Mr. Oxley, Dr. Lenton's on the phone. I told him you were busy, but he says it's very important. Who is he? Well, he's Dr. He's my new assistant. Oh, yes. Well, oh, just a moment, Miss Laurel. Find someone to type this. Oh, Mr. Oxley, can't I try again? No, it's very important. Better find someone to type it for you. Yes, sir. Anybody can type. 